Hi everyone, welcome to the last video of Unit 3, Outcome 3. Uh, this is going to be reasonably quick. Uh, so we're looking at ethics and social responsibility in operations. So we're going to look at our operations process uh, in terms of inputs, so our operation system I should say, inputs, processes and outputs. Uh, and so first of all we'll look at the inputs where, and we just need to know some so ethical and socially responsible issues that can come up, often in questions in exams, you need to you know, look at particular issues, um, social responsibility issues in operations. So we'll look at the inputs, so you may have done some case studies on ethical suppliers, just remember that wherever an organisation gets its supplies from, it needs to ensure that it's behaving ethically or being socially responsible so you don't want your supplier to have um, slave labor or child labor or anything like that uh, you need to manage your waste properly so how you actually after your, um, your inputs how much waste did you have and where do you get rid of that environmentally friendly facility so remember our inputs being facilities human resources etc so your facilities as part of your inputs and trying to ensure that they're environmentally friendly. So you've got Google who um, uses a lot of power through solar energy. Um, so trying to make them more sustainable so that they're not harming the environment. Just remember that large organizations realize that they're big. And so it's ideal if they can minimize their impact on the environment and the community if possible. Now, if we go to uh, managing the processes appropriately, we look at um, so again, this is sort of inputs, but how we actually manage the, the processes. Employees are obviously inputs, uh, but how we manage them, ensuring that they're safe and that it's a safe working environment. Uh, that any dealings with them are ethical, so if there's you know, things that you know that you need to tell them that it's, it's done in a fair manner, um, you give them plenty of notice if you're going to be downsizing, etc. There's a healthy environment. Um, that you're getting rid of any dangerous fumes or anything like that so they're safe and healthy at work. Now outsourcing, that can be if you're outsourcing overseas to minute which often happens in manufacturing these days because of the the cost of manufacturing in Australia is quite high. So a lot of organizations outsource. That's not seen as socially responsible if you're you know reducing the employees in here in Australia but you're outsourcing um, to another country just for cheaper labor and any kind of discrimination so whether you discriminate yeah, obviously that's against the law but um, making sure that you know you're not discriminating on sex on religion or anything like that and when we look at the outputs um, some ethical and socially responsible issues is just making sure that you know that the actual goods that you're producing are reliable and safe for the consumer that you market that product honestly so you're not telling the um, potential consumers that it's something that it's not that it's you know you're going to make sure that it's of merchantable quality and and fit for purpose and things like that that's what the law states but trying to make sure that you actually tell them exactly what it is so you, you, yeah honest marketing and that it's good for customer health and also good for the community so you're not um, making products that go against society's beliefs or values or anything like that and that it actually um, benefits the consumer. So look, there's there's many different issues that could come up in in the um, in social responsibility for operations. You can talk about, you know, ethics and social responsibility in facilities, in materials management, how you're dealing with materials and your wastage. Um, how you use technology is it reducing too much um, too much of the workforce or is it you know harming the environment anything like that so you know your quality make and that goes comes down to your output so all these kind of things are issues that you can talk about um, so that's the end of outcome three congratulations you made it and that essentially that's the end of unit three so well done and just remember for all the videos and the activities and uh, more questions, go to teachingbubble.com.